storm's track. That's right. Professional and amateur storm trackers hit their computers for the latest information on the hurricane. As News 13's Steve Rammel tells us, meteorology students find, an hurric find the hurricane an excellent class project. Like this. this is why Edward has been moving to the west-northwest steadily. When a major storm hits, it fits right into the meteorology curriculum at UNC Asheville. Professors use hurricanes like Edward to show their students that experience is the best teacher. If you're just using canned exercises from, from books and all, it's not the same thing as, as the real world. Okay, let's try it for real. Meteorology students have access to the same technology and computer models as forecasters at the National Weather Service and the National Hurricane Center and they make sure they have the info just as fast. We just got to update Edwards now category four. Winds of 140 miles per hour, so it has strengthened very rapidly. They put a special update in and we just got it, so we're getting pretty excited. Yeah, whenever you get a, an exciting situation, be it a hurricane or a snowstorm coming, uh, a lot more people show up, there's a lot more enthusiasm, people will be here. The storm gets closer to the coast, we'll have people here all night. Forecast track here is for Edward to go in 72 hours. Students track the storms just like their professional counterparts. Junior Brian Farr also studies the power a hurricane can unleash. Hugo was a really eye-opener for me, and ever since I've just been fascinated by the structure and how these um, large storms form over the Atlantic. Now it looks like this trough's beginning to lift off to the north and east. The future forecasters save their data for later analysis and put out their own predictions on the UNCA weather line and via the Internet. In Asheville, I'm Steve Rammel, News 13, WLOS.